Good afternoon, sword friends. So, uh, got a story for y'all today. <laughs> the time I got stuck in a tree when I was old enough to know better. So, this was a little over 20 years ago now. I was about 15 years old. So, me, two friends of mine, Jay and Tommy. So, we got this patch of woods, it's now fucking houses, but back then it was like the, uh, I mean, it was like a two by two by two square mile patch of woods in the suburbs, like not wilderness, but as wilderness as we could bike to. So we'd always go back there and fucking play when we were kids. Well, now we're a little older, so we rolled a few joints. We got several like big ass kitchen knives and a couple hatchets and shit and went out in the woods to have some fun. So we had said fun, you know, doing fucking what fucking teenagers do. And then we come upon this tree where it's one fucking branch, or it's one single fucking trunk, and then it splits up into two. So I'm thinking, damn, I bet I could get really high fucking, you know, shimmying up in between them. So I did, I fucking got really fucking high in the tree, come down, as I'm coming down, above my knee, like, where your thigh thins out. It got stuck in between the two fucking things, so, like, my knee is stuck. And the more I try, and now, mind you, the split in the tree is about fucking five and a half feet off the ground, too. So, it's not like it's at ground level. So, my knee's stuck. I'm fucking literally hanging there. Luckily, my buddy Justin was there. He fucking was holding me up. So... The more I struggle, the fucking deeper it just gets. And I mean, my fucking leg is wedged in there. Like, fucking, so my friend Dominic, who wasn't with us, but his property abuts up to the fucking wooded area. We're like, Tommy, fucking go and get Dominic. Fucking go fucking find, get, get Tony, get his dad, get his brother, get somebody to fucking come and fucking get me the fuck out of this tree, right? So, he leaves, comes back about 20 minutes later with the fucking ladder he stole from Dominic's fucking garage. <laughs> so, yeah, you can climb up on the ladder. You're still not getting me out. So, fucking, now, mind you, freaking, I've been up in this tree about an hour at this point. My buddy Jay's getting really tired from holding me up. My fucking leg's starting to really hurt. Like, had he not been there, I'd have been hanging by my snapped leg. Like, my buddy Justin saved my fucking leg this day. But, anyhow, so, finally we're like, fucking dude, we gotta fucking, alright. We, we're not getting out of this one. Like, we need to fucking, um... We need to seek the professional's help. So, I think we had a joint left and fucking like, Tommy, take this. Take all the knives and sh axes and shit. Fucking hide them somewhere fucking far away. And then go and fucking, I don't know who you got to call. Go, go fucking talk to Dominic's parents and be like, hey, who should we call? So, Tommy goes running back through the woods fucking to Dominic's house. Mind you, it's like a mile walk fucking back into these woods. It's like... I mean, it's not a fucking track, but, I mean, it's not just a hop, skip, and a jump. I mean, it's a fucking, you gotta cross some treacherous suburban woodland terrain. So, my buddy Jay and I are sitting there, and about another hour goes by. You see the glint of the badges off the sun coming through the woods. You hear the people fucking coming. So, you got a couple cops, followed by a couple firemen. Followed by the entire volunteer fire brigade. There was like 40, 50 fucking people, mind you. And then we hear a fucking police officer on a fucking police ATV comes up from the other way. So finally, my buddy Jay gets some relief, and I'm being held up by like six fucking firefighters, five and a half feet off the ground with my fucking knee stuck in the tree, right? So. They try pushing it out, can't fucking get it. Finally, they hit on an idea. 
they fucking attached a rope to the as far up as they could on the one branch on the one fucking part of the split and then below my knee they got the fucking jaws of fucking life like the jaws of life rescued me from a tree so they put the jaws underneath where my knee was and they had the rope attached to the tree attached to the atv and dude floored it on the atv as they're fucking as they're using the jaws got a cop up on the ladder lifting my leg out Finally, Eric's free from the tree. Well, it's not that simple. They forced Eric to go to the hospital. <laughs> so, I got strapped down to a stretcher. They wouldn't let me smoke a cigarette. Fucking, all I wanted to do was fucking walk around. They wouldn't even let me stand up. Forced me to go to the hospital. So, now, as all this is going on, my mother at the time, you know, just a fucking homemaker sit there all day listening to the police scanner so she's sitting there this whole time laughing her ass off at oh some dumbass is stuck in the tree what a fucking idiot i'm glad i turned the scanner on what a great day all of a sudden the phone rings yeah your son's stuck in a tree we're on route to erie county medical center um you want to meet us there and fucking <laughs> So, by the time I get to the hospital, my mom and little sister are pulling up. They fucking unstrap me from this gurney. I'm like, look, guys, I jumped up and down. I was fine. I'm like, everything's good. They had a bunch of emergencies to deal with, so that was the end of it. But that was my story about the time I got stuck in a tree. So, let me know if you enjoyed this. If you want to hear more, I got fucking tons more crazy fucking fun kid stories so if you enjoyed this and whatnot let me know in the comments and i'll do more and if not tell me so and i'll shut the fuck up so thanks for watching have a good one